what's going on what's going on welcome back to the channel one man's walk i am your host gamal back at you with another one so what do we have for you today well mozzie dropped a new single called tell the truth figure we check it out uh we know it's anticipated or at least i'm anticipating this new album you know i'm excited mozzie's my guy so let's check it out um as soon as we watch the intro clean your house music you can clean too So welcome back. Like I said, Mozzie has a new single out, Tell the Truth. We're going to go ahead and get right to it. Before we do, as always, let's get this house cleaping out the way. If you guys have not already done so, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content. As you see behind me right now, we do have one of the latest videos up. This is the movie review of the latest Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Wanda is nuts in this movie, so OP. You can check out my review of that on there. Um, also, I Mob Deep is the latest, the infamous, I did do that album. That is up right now, as well as a breakdown of specifically Just Give Up the Goods, so you guys can check that out as well. Um, also, the BB and CC Winans video is up, the Air Jordan 5 Jade Horizon is up, and a couple other Yeezys um, are up as well. So feel free to check out all this content. Hopefully you enjoy it, as well as this. So, you guys know Mozzie's my guy. Um, Lucky and a few other the subscribers have been telling me about this guy for uh the last few months i want to say six seven months or however long i've really been active on the channel and i said let me go ahead and check it out and since then uh beyond bulletproof was fire untreated trauma which i do have a review already up that's fire the beyond bulletproof will be coming sometime later this year um gangland landlord all of them they've all, they've been fire and so i'm expecting this to be no less. I've already listened to the song a ton of times, watched the video, but let's go ahead, let's get into it. So this is featuring an individual, I think it's Shorty Shorty. I'm not really familiar with him. If you guys are, hey, you know, let me know, but not really familiar with him, but obviously we know Mozzie. <laughs> I remember Joe Button had a line like that. Right off the bat, he comes in, he's like, these dudes kill me with this killer stuff as if as if that's the case and why I still exist. I remember, uh, not to switch it up like that, but I think it was during the Ransom Joe Button beef or whatever you want to call it, rap beef. And at the start of Ransom Note, Joe's like, you made a song that said that at 12 o'clock or whatever the time, somebody's going to die. And he's like, what do you know? Everybody's still alive. He was like, not one person was hit. And so it kind of gave this where Mozzie's kind of letting whoever he's talking about. Like, I will say off the break, I don't know who he's talking to or referring to. But clearly, whoever it is, the individual. And you could hear in the, in the verses that at one point, it sounded like somebody he might have been cool with at one point. And then the other person clearly looks as if he wasn't. But what he's saying on here, and we'll hear throughout the entire song, is like, look, whatever you say you you're, you're you're talking you're not about that as fiend uh no limit fame would say his cock and blasting louder than his womp womp meaning that you know the tough talk is way louder than the actual action that follows the tough talk and so mozzie's like look man if, if you saying all this stuff about how you're gonna kill me you're gonna do all this stuff why am i still here now obviously we love mozzie on the channel we want mozzie to be here whoever he has beef with we want them to still be here as well we're not here for the violence on the channel nothing like that um we just think mozzie makes great music around here so so he says, I was the one of the ones you called before you did a skit, simmer down. I was the one of the ones you called for Pape. Oh, you dissing now. Really one of the ones to place a call and have them sit you down. Like, you, you switch sides. 
like it, it sounds good on record, whatever it is you're saying, and it sounds, but you and I know you and I know what's going on, right? As, as Pac said, I believe that was the Pac line, and he was like, "You and I know what's going on, right? Like, you know, I held you down. You know, I was that guy for you. Why are you out here acting the way you're acting? You know what I mean? You're moving funny right now, essentially." His brain up a little bit. So that's probably one of the most disrespectful lines on the song. You seen what happened to your partner? Go and dig him out. And if they give my partner bail, I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go get him out. That's a disrespectful line. The, the first part of that about you saw what happened to your partners. Go and dig him out. Meaning. I guess for he's making it sound, I don't know if he's saying he's taking the credit for it or if it just so happened that whoever he's talking with, an individual within their circle has passed. And he was like, you saw what happened to him. You know, I guess essentially back talking on the last portion about the reckless talk, the wild talk. And he's like, look, as a result of how you've been, your partner was getting down. He's in the grave now. Wildly disrespectful. To say that on the record almost reminds me of probably one of my all-time favorite Mozzie records in the short span of time, which I've gotten to know him and really caught up on his catalog extremely fast. Um, deceitful, unethical and deceitful, where he was like, I kicked your dead homies uh, candles. I was like, <laughs> and that's how he started the record, which is one of the best intros I've, I've heard in a long time. So. He has a he does have a, a history now of, of getting wildly disrespectful on the records in reference to um what he considers to be ops and their uh loved ones or whoever it is who have passed. So he, you know, not here for the violence, but that's that's a wild line. And so we'll speed up a little bit more. And you a nerd without them. I'm, I didn't play this one part, but he says, and you a nerd without them perks. Watch you sleep it off. When it get bracken, it get drastic. That's an easy call. Ran in the house and locked the door after you see my dog. Say what you want, but it's documented that he's the law. That ain't the work that y'all acknowledge, though. I done seen it all. Deactivate the safety switch because we're going to keep it off. It's That's a lot of wild, tough talk on there. Now, he says, you're only tough when you're on drugs. And he, you know what I'm saying? Because he says, and you're a nerd without them perks. Watch when you sleep it off. Meaning you wild and you talk tough and you act reckless when the drugs is influencing you but when it's you being you you're not as tough as you come across that's what the whole perk line is for and then he says when it get bracken it get drastic that's an easy call meaning whenever it gets cracking bracken whatever you want to say whenever the situation gets tense you already know things can get hectic really quickly and he was like that's an easy call so then he turns around and he says, ran in the house and locked the door The door after you see my dog. Meaning the same individual who's talking tough and running around and talking reckless. When the time came to really put action to words as he saw the, 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 the situation being presented to his doorstep, essentially. He's saying, you ran in the house. You locked the door when you seen my dog. He says, say what you want, but it's been documented. He's the law. That ain't the work y'all acknowledge though i didn't seen it all meaning you guys are talking about everything else except i guess one of your homeboys is um maybe an informant or whatever the case may be and so he's like you guys aren't mentioning any of that stuff and everything else that you're glorifying or talking about he's like i didn't seen it all right he said deactivate the safety switch because we're gonna keep it off meaning there's no need for you to run around with whatever weaponry you have on safety. Take it off safety because we keeping ours off, meaning it's literally on site. And when we see when it's on site, it is a level of bodily harm we are willing to inflict upon you. And again, on this channel, not here for the bodily harm, but Mozzie do put the record, put the words together well. Now, I will say this. I think when I heard the song initially on listening to it, I was like, it's cool. I didn't love it, love it. I didn't hate it. I felt like it was a good 
album cut record. It doesn't come across as like a single per se. It comes across as something that when you're playing the CD, you hear it, you come across it and you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. And let it play, but it didn't feel like a single. That's my only gripe with it. As far as the lyrics, the beat and everything, it's a typical Mozzie record. It's a typical flavor we've been getting with Mozzie with these past few albums or so. It has California written all over it. It has the vibe of what he considers to be politics all over it. But it is still a, a good record. And again, his lyrics, without getting into, because I don't know who he's talking about, and neither was I about to deep dive or try to figure out who it is and go on the internet. Like, that was unnecessary for me. Just in hearing what he was saying, whoever he's referencing, you know what I mean? It sounds like he's trying to, and there's a whole bunch of other stuff in there, but it sounds like he's trying to say, look, you already know what it is and really know what it is. Now you confront or act tough or whatever the case is for whoever you want to on camera, but off camera, you already know what it's like. You should probably lay low and, and die down on, on a tough talk is, is essentially what it comes down to. But that's it, man. You guys let me know. I'm hyped for this Mozzie album. I know it's going to be fire. The lyrics is already here between this one and, and the, um, the other one with Roddy Rich. Can't think of what the name of that one is, but I did review that as well. But yeah, the Mozzie record is, is, is going to be fire. So you guys just let me know. What are your thoughts on it? You excited for the Mozzie album? Are you hip to what's going on with Mozzie? You excited for this whole collabo he got with Yo Gotti and CMG? So let's get to it. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day weekday weekend whenever you're listening however you're listening i thank you for listening till next time i do want to say so this is new but this is the outro i hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i thank you guys for sticking out to the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it stick around for some of the other content that you see up right now as always i hope you guys have a wonderful blessed productive stress-free day make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content share 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 